Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be addressing the question of whether or not the NordVPN app works on the iPhone. So I myself um, recently signed up for NordVPN uh, for accessing the American version of Netflix on my desktop computer. And I was also curious about how the actual app would work on an iPhone device as if you are an iPhone or iPad user, you know that um, Apple is very strict with what it allows on their app store and the kind of the accessibility of what apps can do in the background. And when I did download the app, I was actually really, really surprised that the app actually does work on the iPhone and you actually can stream the American version of Netflix on your iPhone as well. So to show you this, I'm going to give you an overview of the app and also a couple of speed tests so you can see the before and after kind of differences of speed after connecting to another server. So just before I do get stuck into the video, I'll just quickly let you know that I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. So if you'd like to follow along or if you'd like to sign up for NordVPN, then you can get some uh, pretty good savings right off the bat with that discount link down below. So anyway, uh, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is a before and after view of the speeds before I dive into the app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that now. So I'm just gonna go and open up Safari and for this speed test, I'm just going to be using the inbuilt uh, speed test within Google itself. So I'm currently in Australia, so I'm just going to run this speed test um, just to give you an overview of some speeds that you can get. So at the moment, I'm getting around 75 megabytes uh, per second download. And for upload, I'm getting about one to two megabytes per second for upload. So just keep that in mind because I'll be doing a, an after view just after I go into the app. So now I'm going to open the NordVPN app. Um, it's really, really simple to use. Um, once you do open it, you just simply log into your account and then you kind of get this really simple user interface where you can kind of pan around the globe and select individual locations and countries. Um, but I much prefer to kind of, um, if I glide this up, I can search for particular countries. So as an example, I'll search for United States. So I'll go ahead and click to the United States and then this will automatically connect me to the fastest server in the United States. And then if I just uh, kind of zoom in a little bit, you can actually see there's a really small VPN icon there on the iPhone and this indicates to me that my entire iPhone is actually connected to a personal VPN network. Um, so I was actually really surprised to see that icon as I'd never seen that before uh, on an iPhone device. So I'm just going to pan out again. So I'm currently connected um, to an American based server and like I said it automatically connects me to the fastest server in that region. And then I can also go into a particular region and then I can also select uh, multiple servers as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much just the overview of the app. Um, you can select various countries and then you can do double encryption and a few other things as well. But if you're looking to just use it for, um, you know, just privacy and streaming the American version of Netflix, then this is kind of the only interaction you'll have uh, with the actual uh, app itself. And as a side note, um, once you do have it connected, and it connects your entire device as well. So you actually don't have to open apps within the app, uh, which I thought you would actually have to do. Um, so that's a really, really good benefit as it connects the entire device. So now I'm just going to go to Netflix and show you kind of a, and just to kind of show you guys that you actually can access um, geo-blocked content uh, on the iPhone. So if you're living in Australia, New Zealand, or I know there's a couple of other countries where you actually can't access um, Marvel movies um, on our versions of Netflix. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to search for Marvel as the, as Australia actually doesn't have um, the licenses uh, for this kind of content. So if I just search for that, right off the bat I can see I have several different Marvel movies um, that I can now watch um, on my iPhone and also my desktop version as well. So I've got Avengers, uh, Infinity War, Thor, Ant-Man, the Black Panther, and then you also have a few uh, Star Wars spin-off movies as well, um, including the new ones too. And also, 
I can search for other kind of TV shows. I know Breaking Bad um, is on the American version of Netflix. Um, so I can just go ahead and search for that as well. So just for kind of the speeds that you'll get on the iPhone app, um, I'll just go ahead and play for you um, just an episode of, of this, just so you can kind of get an overview of the speeds that you'll be able to get um, when connected to an international server from your country location. So as you can see there, um, it's pretty much instantaneous load times. And I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but this is actually streaming in HD. The quality is really, really good as well. So I'm just going to exit out of this um, so you guys can just kind of get an overview of what you can expect to see when using the Nord VPN app. So like I said uh, earlier on, I'll go back into uh, the Google speed test. And as you can see here, these were our existing numbers and I was connecting to a locally based Australian server as I am in Australia. And as you can see, I have uh, 77 uh, megabytes download and my server location is in Sydney. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this. And I'm gonna run a speed test. And this will show you kind of average speeds um, that you might be able to get when connecting to an international based server. So at the moment, um, I'm getting speeds of around three megabytes and then it'll show me the upload time, which is around one to two, or one and a half, two megabytes uh, for uploading as well. So right here, I'm connected to a server in San Francisco. Uh, but from my own experience, I have found these numbers to fluctuate quite a lot. Um, this is actually is on the lower end. Um, the highest I've seen it is actually 25 megabytes uh, download. And again, this all kind of depends on when you are looking to access the server. So it depends on when the servers are being used in the United States and also Australia as well. So that's kind of just a quick overview of the NordVPN app, how to access the American version of Netflix on your iPhone using NordVPN, and also just some speeds that you might encounter as well. So pretty much, can you use uh, NordVPN on your iPhone? Simply, yes you can. So again, if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, don't forget to check out that massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. So if you already um, are looking to get started and you have a few questions, please also throw those down in the comment section else, as I'll be happy to help you all out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.